Hey guys, Dave Dean here, and uh, I'm just updating my Helix DSP Ultra because the new software is out now, 5.0 I think it is. And uh, now you're gonna be able to tune your DSP uh, via Bluetooth, right? So as long as you have the Bluetooth hack cart, uh, you're good. So I'm kind of just gonna show you guys. Uh, this is actually my first time doing this, so um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so I got it I got it hooked up right now in the back of my vehicle right and I got the USB and everything plugged in so we're just gonna go through this process uh, you can see right now it says the echo platform is not up to date the current version on your device is zero the version on the DSP tool requires version 15 uh, the update process of the ACP platform is now uh, to be started right so I'll just put uh, okay on here Okay, it looks like I gotta turn the volume off on here. So we'll just go in here just to make sure everything's down. All that's down. Yeah, it's all down anyways. So I hit OK on there. And you can see it's doing the update right now. Update is successful. I am going to have to actually uh, update it. Uh, was successful. Would you like to restart? Here, I'll just go in there. Would you like to restart uh, the DSP tool now? Uh, restart. Okay, as you can see, it's connected now, right? Um, Wrong software version, starting update. Yes. Let's bring it up the Ultra. Yes and yes, and uh, that's it for, uh, we gotta load one in I believe. I should be able to go in here and load. Yeah, I'm gonna load this in off of here. Should be under Audio Tech Fisher, it's the last one I saved. And I hope I got this thing right. I believe it's that guy. Your loading contains data about remote control configuration as well as hardware specific configuration made in the device configuration menu. Uh, would you like to load one of these or both configurations? Load. All right, so that's not the right one. I know that because of this frequency right here. It shouldn't be at 35. So I got to go in here and go back into the settings on here. And I need to go into this guy. Load. So this should be my right one, all right? All right, guys, we're back. I just finished updating the Helix DSP Ultra with uh, the brand new uh, 5.0, I think it is, um, update. And as you can see, the director won't work because I actually have to update it as well. Um, so I'm, I'm on here right now. I just have to go into the director. Uh, so basically I'm on here and you can see on my uh, my director updater, I've already uh, uh, updated this via the software, right? Um, so now I just have to click on this guy. Double click on it. So basically it'll say this, make changes on your device, yes. 
Uh, yes again. So basically now when I go in here, I'll go, uh, let's see, uh, retry. Okay, please connect the PC. What does that say there? Please connect the PC and start director updater now. Waiting for connection. Current firmware version is 2.07 and we want uh, 3.01, I think it is. 3.0, something like that. Let's, okay, so now we gotta go back in here again. There's an error in here. The updater, let's see if it works this time. It's going through the same messages as before. But this time it should work, yeah. So there we go. So now this message pops up on here and uh, exclusively for the ACO devices, which mine is, it's a Helix DSP Ultra. And now I'm going to just click on the button that says uh, Update Director, all right? And you can do, uh, you can load your custom logos and all that kind of stuff down here if you already have it on your laptop. Um, I haven't actually even tried that yet, but uh, I know how to do it, it's pretty simple. So, all right, so. Click on that to update it. Please ensure your director is update mode before you click OK. So let's go back up on here. Let's go uh, back. Um, yeah, I think we got to click this OK first. All right, so I just had to put it back on the screen on my uh, director, and now it should be updating everything here. As you can see, the green bar is actually going up now. All right, so it looks like it's updated it fully. Um, right here, upload finished, right? So. I'll just click on that guy. And like I said, you can up, uh, you can load uh, like custom logos and then enable custom logo, that type of thing, right? And uh, I think that is it. Um, I think that is it, Updo updated, finished, it says on there. So I'll just click on this guy, end up here. And then we'll go up here and we'll see. I'm gonna turn this light off now. Oops, there we go. Um, let's see if I can zoom in properly on there. Um, connect your PC to the, okay, so we already did that. So let's go, and it's hard to do because I got this thing off and it's not where it should be. So it's hard to like adjust things here. So. Um, Please connect director firmware. So I see it's already got that on there, so I don't have to update it. See, it says uh, director firmware version 3.0. So we're good. Um, so you know what? I'm gonna detach this thing and then reattach it. And then uh, we'll see if there's anything different on here. All right, guys, we're back. Everything worked good. Um, I'm just going to go and show you uh, the software is now on version 3.0, which is the brand new one they just came out with today. Might have been yesterday, either yesterday or today. So you just go in here. Let's make sure this is locked in on here. System and then system info, right? And then you can see there system version or sy system information, director firmware version 3.00. So everything's good to go. Um, the first thing I just want to say um, there's the micro USB here or whatever it is that you could hook in on the corner here. You can't see it obviously, but it's like on the side. Um, once you hook that up and then as soon as you plug that into your, into your, uh, laptop, do not touch this at all. There's a screen that pops on here. Just leave it. Right. Um, I think it says like director update or something like that. Do not click that. Cause if you click that, as you, as you noticed when I was trying to update it, it just kept on saying failed because once it goes to that second screen, you cannot update the director. So as soon as you plug it into your laptop, just leave it at that screen and then and then hit the director updater on your laptop. Just make sure obviously you've already downloaded the software, um, the new versions of the software for your director updater 
and for the, uh, I think it's the DSP uh, or the PC DSP Tools 5.0, which is the latest software for the actual DSP. Make sure you've downloaded those two before you even start any of these processes, right? So once that's done, um, the only other thing that you need to know is like, it'll kind of reset to the to factory defaults. And if you hit input select on here, all your volume levels, you know, mine are at 0.0, .0 now because I've turned them all up. If you don't, it, they'll all be at like 60, which means if you try playing music and you're going to be, and you go to your master volume, your master volume, you turn it up, no music comes out of it because all those are on 60, which I just found out, right? Because uh, it factory uh, uh, resets everything back to like 60, right? Uh, so just make sure whatever uh, inputs you're using, I use them all. So I turned them all back to zero. Because uh, they'll be on 60 on all of them. So whichever ones you're using, just put that put to zero. I put them all on zero. So so other than that, um, everything was good to go. I uh, got the proper uh, software is on, uh, on my Helix DSP Ultra now. And uh, the director has been... So the one on the Helix DSP Ultra is 5.0 and the director updater is 3.0, right? Um, so those are both ready to go. So now all I have to do is go get the Bluetooth module in Calgary at uh, go see Chris and uh, Larry down there at Mobile Solutions and get uh, the Bluetooth module. And I'll probably pick up the Helix mic because uh, the whole reason why I wanted to do this is so now I can do my own tunes on here, right? I can play around with it. And before it was kind of a pain in the ass if I wanted to mess around with the... Um, like the software of the DSP, I had, I have this like Velcro on and this is like extremely strong Velcro. Um, I have to actually pop this off in order to access like the, the USB on the side here. Right. And it just became kind of like a pain in the butt. Right. Uh, cause you kinda, it's really difficult to get this off and you don't want to break this piece. Right. So, um, when I found out that they were bringing out that software update and it was, going to be allow you to actually tune your vehicle via bluetooth you just have to make sure that your laptop has bluetooth too as well which well, pretty much most, the majority of the laptops out there do right unless you got like a like my laptop's old i'm hoping it has bluetooth on it because i've never used it for anything other than um playing around with the dsp right but that was usually when i first got it i was playing around with the software not as much lately right um because i was waiting on this update so other, other than that, um, I'll probably actually do a video on what this thing actually sounds like via Bluetooth once I put that module in, right? Even though I'm not like a huge Bluetooth guy, I'm just kind of curious to see, you know, it should sound pretty decent because um, Helix Bluetooth modules, they have Aptex HD, which is okay. Like it's decent, right? Um, I don't think it's up it's not quite like LDAC level, right? Uh, it would have been nice if they would have brought out a new one that was a LDAC, but they didn't, right? So you got Aptex HD. Um, I know I seen Peter from PS Sound do a video when he was saying that the Zapco, like the high-end Zapco that comes uh, with the Bluetooth module and everything in there, um, it doesn't have any lag on it. Um, when it comes to, because he uses his, when he competed, he uses like a tablet or something like that for his multimedia. And he was saying when he used to use the Helix DSP Ultra um, and the Bluetooth module on that, the the audio wouldn't sync up because the Bluetooth was always like a second or two behind, right? Um, which it doesn't really matter that much if you're just playing audio out of it, right? It, But if you're doing multimedia, that's a huge thing, right? Because you know everybody knows how annoying that is. Um, I don't know if you've ever watched stuff like on YouTube and things like that. Um, sometimes you, if you have a sync uh, issue, like a voice sync issue, like there's nothing more irritating than somebody's talking and then their voice is like delayed by like, you know, a few seconds or whatever, right? Um, when it comes to audio, it's not that big of a deal unless you're, like I said, unless you got a tablet and you're doing a video or watching a movie. I don't watch any movies in my car. I kind of see that as pointless, but you know, other people might do that kind of stuff, right? 
Um, and I don't watch videos. I haven't watched videos in like, geez, the old MTV era. It's probably the last time I was watching videos on TV or, or YouTube or whatever. I don't watch videos whatsoever uh, when it comes to music, right? But, um, but that's what I, I noticed. He said that uh, in one of his videos. So it's. Uh, but like I said, I'm not a big Bluetooth guy, anyways. But I'll do a video just kind of uh, uh, letting you guys know what I th what I think of it, right? Uh, of the Bluetooth uh, capabilities, which will be Aptex XG, Aptx HD coming out of this thing, and then going into that. Um, but like I said, the the main reason I got it is for being able to tune, make my own tunes. Um, via like Bluetooth, right? Connecting the laptop via Bluetooth rather than have going going through the annoying process of uh, hooking this thing up via USB. Um, it might be easier for other people. You not, might not be worried about the Bluetooth part of it. You might have easier access to where your where your uh, directory is or your conductor or your uh, URC point three. Like you might have easy access to that, uh, but I don't, right? And, uh, um, and I don't mind spending 250 bucks. I think that's what it is here. $250 for the modules. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother with the heck module. I'm just going to go with the, the, the Bluetooth module because I'm good on how I got my stuff hooked up. And, uh, I did, a, I did enough research to know like the hex module doesn't sound as good as optical or coaxial. So there's no really point and do, hooking that up and then doing a review on it when, per, when not one single person has said the heck module sounded better than Quax, uh, Quax Digital or Optical. So, um, you know, maybe I will at some point in time, but I highly doubt it, right? It's kind of seems like a kind of a waste of 250 bucks uh, plus taxes to do something like that. But uh, yeah, I will be picking up a mic in, a, in the Bluetooth module and then we can really get into... Uh, uh, doing some videos on tuning but like i said uh until i come close to like chris's tune that's already on here or i can better that then i won't be doing a video on that one right because there's no point i'm not going to put a video out there that i have no clue what i'm doing and and then i pass on bad information to somebody that's the worst thing somebody can do on youtube right um so i'll just wait until i actually know what the hell i'm doing and uh can actually produce a really good tune on here and then we'll go from there and i've already researched uh, i've spent you know the last couple of years every now and then jumping on different forums and different websites and stuff like that and researching like pretty much everything on dsps um parametric eqs the regular eqs um all kinds of stuff right uh, pertaining to dsps so um i think i can handle it uh, but only time will tell we'll see but other than that, guys, I just uh, wanted to do kind of a quick, quick video and uh, kind of showing uh, people out there. It really isn't that difficult now. Helix keeps on making things easier and easier. And um, it looks like they added some kind of a, uh, a few neat, uh, new features too um, with this software update besides being able to tune your DSP via Bluetooth, right? So anyways, guys, uh, thanks again. Uh, subscribe, like the videos, only if you like the videos, right? Uh, if you don't like the videos, then whatever, give it a thumbs down. Uh, but we'll see you on the next one.